Hey y'all, welcome yeah, back yeah, to yeah. Tiara's yeah. Healing Words. Tap, tap, tap on in with your girl one time. Tap, 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 tap on in with your girl one time. It's Friday, hey. Oh, it's Friday. Friday. How y'all doing today? Hope y'all having a better day than I am. I'm freaking stuck inside right now, quarantining with these kids. They freaking caught COVID at this camp that I let them go to. And, uh, you know, it is what it is. We just surviving, of course. I did do a little um, healing ritual with this stone here earlier. And I had them put it on their throat. So we'll see how that goes tomorrow um or maybe even sunday i might do i might do some i might do some more um healing energy on it tomorrow you feel me some has the healing hands you feel me spirit fingers so let's go ahead and get started um so i grabbed these out of my little baggie um Mm -mm, don't come over here, please. You're going to make my stuff fall. Can you move? Okay. Um, I grabbed these out of my bag, and we're just going to see what the messages are. I haven't looked at them. Of course, I never do. I shuffle them. I put them in whatever order they come in, and then here we go. So to start, it says there's a drug dealer undercover wearing wires. It says, damn. Uh -uh. It says, damn, I was sacrificed by my own mom. Whole family tried to stop my shine. Lord, have mercy. We got a natural disaster here somewhere. We got the um, pat. Funny thing is that the car said that, damn, I was sacrificed by my own mom. Whole family stop, tried to stop my shine, shaking my head. Pat is actually a nickname that my mom used to call me, and some of my family members also call me Pat. It is significant for fat, F-A-T, but they put P on there and call me Pat because I'm not fat, you feel me? I might have been a little chunky back in the day, whatever the case may be, but, you know, whatever. So, you know, that could be a sign of synchronicity right there. We got 333 energy here. It says, you are enough, okay? I know I'm enough. You better know that you are enough, all right? It says, spirit has all the tea. Spirit has all the tea. Okay, y'all better know spirit got all the jokes too. <laughs> It says, you can no longer take their word for it. Actions speak louder than words any day, okay? So you probably got some people finna come in and try to sell you a dream. Tell you their shoulda, coulda, woulda, you know what I'm saying? But whatever they talking about has to match, match their actions. Feel me? Don't go off of what they talking about. Make them stand on that shit and show you that actions speak louder than words. One thing I do know for sure is everybody need to wake up. Everybody need to wake up out of this matrix. See, and see what's really going on in the world. But I'm here to speak the facts. Along with all the other tarot readers, people say that they scared of tarot and they don't want to have nobody reading their tarot or they, you know what I'm saying? And that's because we're going to speak the facts and they might be scared of that. The funny thing is, this one girl who I asked if I could give her a reading, she told me no, but when I was at her house, she was allowing somebody else to give her a tarot reading. And the girl was pretty much trying to keep her stuck where she was at, understand? So, you know, whatever. It says, <coughs> excuse me, whoa, baby. They don't want me to talk. 444 on the clock when that happened. They don't want me to get this message out. It says, I am a woman in love with another woman here. We got we got some gay ass energy here. 
I don't know who that is, but hey, definitely not me, because I don't want no pum pum. <laughs> strictly dickly, okay? Right now, I'm not strictly anything but spiritual. I, I'm, uh, I'm celibate right now. I'm not doing nothing with no one. It says, I wish I would have made you mine. So it could have been a woman that's in love with another woman that wish that she could have made you theirs. I wish I could have made you mine for somebody here. Take what resonates. We got Felicia energy here. It says it's time to start your own business, okay? We got the baby energy here, the rapper. It says the last name Sweat, which is my mom's last name. <laughs> my father's side of the family name is Sweat, okay? Somebody say puff, puff, pass that shit. <laughs> we got Florida energy here. Crazy thing, crazy thing about, excuse me, can you stop? Crazy thing about Florida today. Uh, I was watching this other girl video, tarot video. Shout out to Empress Lillian. I fucks with you. I love your, your, your videos that you post, you know what I'm saying? And she was saying it is so hot out there that the... Something about the bridge was melting or, or falling apart or something in Florida. So I don't know. Um, I didn't actually see anything about that, but Florida could be significant here. I definitely, before the summer ends, I'm definitely trying to make my way to Florida's beach. I need some 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 clear water in my in my life. You feel me? Somebody, maybe somebody in Florida wants to kiss on you. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. But the card says, I want to kiss on you. We got racist energy here. We got a new home here. It says, which one do you choose? So you're going to have a choice, whether it's between new home, maybe it's between new states. Uh, I don't know. Could even be between a masculine, a male or female. You know, you might have some options here when it comes to your love life. Which one do you choose? Better choose wisely. And if you're not sure which one to choose, ask God to show you. It says, stop letting him or her get away with that shit, sis or bro. Yo. You need to be over there. Stop letting him or her get away with that shit, sis or bro. Like, it, it never fails every time I get ready to record, bro. We got solar plexus chakra here. It says confidence, self-esteem, anger management, self-love, power, independence, and stability. So maybe somebody needs to protect their solar plexus chakra. All right. I only want you energy here. We got a strong tower. Somebody is a strong tower here. Hmm. You're in competition with yourself. Don't be in competition with nobody else. We got West Virginia energy here. That's crazy that this came out when um hmm, a lot of a lot of bad things happened to me in West Virginia. Uh, we got grandma energy here. We got Maya Johnson name coming out. Dare to be better than yesterday. We got a mental prison. Somebody here is in a mental prison. They could possibly be in a mental prison because they fucked with the wrong one. And now they're facing karma for fucking with that person. Maybe God is even showing them in their dreams or something as to why this is happening to them. And because of that, they are in a mental prison. Social media could be significant here. We got reconciliation reconciliation with the past lover here okay who is it who is it we got shh. Shh. I am a man and I am strictly dickly even though I date women wow so we got we got a woman here in love with another woman that's some some lesbian energy now we got some a man that's 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 in the, a man that's into men but dating women 
probably because they undercover in the closet and haven't came out about their sexuality yet but one thing i'm gonna say about that is keep it real with yourself and most definitely keep it real with your partners come on man we got a spiritual awakening here somebody is going through a spiritual awakening the government could be involved in a significant situation here we got your dad is a karmic we got libra energy here we got the initial v in the backyard something could be going on in somebody's backyard or there could be something in somebody's backyard hell it could be some money in your backyard shit who knows but as a as a we got to do better as a as people as we as people got to do better period it says you dodged a major bullet by letting them go. It says get five cards from the shapeshifters oracle. I'm going to do that at the end here. It says treat yourself, treat others how you want to be treated. And that is a true fact right there. That's how I live my life each and every day. I treat others how I want to be treated as I always have. Even if they don't give me the same in return, it does not reciprocate it. That does not change the way I am. You feel me? I still want to treat others how I want to be treated because that's just me. But you won't stop my shine. Someone is saying here, you will not shop, stop my shine. I don't give a fuck what you got going on. No matter how hard you come at me, you will not stop my shine. We got at an apartment complex here, something could be significant at an apartment complex. I'm getting, um, I don't even know, could be West Virginia. Hell, might even be Ohio. Something could be happening in Ohio or West Virginia at an apartment complex. We got the month August here. Maybe something is gonna happen at an apartment complex in August. But hey, believe in miracles. Believe in miracles, baby. It says, when you let go of what is not for you, your blessings will come. Some things are to teach you. And that's a fact. Some things are to teach you. What you doing, boo? Okay. All right. We got devil energy here. Y'all better be aware. We got also got the anointed energy here we got anointed energy here along with the devil energy definitely more power than the devil energy you feel me so who is the anointed one we got anointed energy here heck yeah thank you father god it says he or she is going to hurt you again if you allow this person in that has hurt you before they're nine times out of ten going to try to do the same thing again because they feel like they got one over on you you feel me so maybe this person cheated on you or something once a cheater always a cheater you feel me don't let them trick you that devil energy don't let them trick you with that devil energy okay be smarter than that use your discernment it says damn all that spell work and can't get can't get right hmm. we got new home now we got new car energy here we got oranges here could be significant somebody may be like oranges stop doing that here you want me to open it take it over there to the table here you go boo here you want the straw Okay, but I still want you to take it over there, okay? okay? Put the straw in there. Hold it so you don't spill it. Thank you. All right, so we got fire sign energy here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We got Sherry. It says your mama a karmic. So first we had your dad a karmic. Now we got your mama a karmic. But I'm just going to say that the last name Sweat came out. And I know both of my parents was damn karmic. My daddy dead, you know what I'm saying? He was a fuck nigga. My mama, she's still living. I don't know. 
Um, it says, allow him or her to love you. But you, it has the dot, dot, dot there for you to, you know, fill in the blank. But my fill in the blank was allow him or her to love you. So whatever you want to say, allow him or her to 15, 15 on the clock. We got divine masculine energy here. So we had West Virginia come out. We got the last name Chappelle here, which um, one of my homegirls, well, I ain't going to say homegirls because I don't really feel like she my homegirl at this point. But when I was a child back in the day, she was actually my best friend. You feel me? And um, it's funny that her name, her last name is here with the same state that she's currently in. But it also says to raise your vibrations. So somebody here needs to raise their vibrations. We got a leader also here. Okay, we got the root chakra. It says security, stress, fear, diversity, and inclusion. We got 1212 here. Google them angel numbers if you're not sure what that means. We got the month September here. Could be significant. We had August come out. Now we got September coming out. We got uh, the name Troy. We got Vegas, baby. We got Vegas energy here. Somebody could be traveling to Vegas. Wow. And it says take flight. So somebody definitely could be about to fly to freaking Vegas for something. And it says, if marriage is not the end result, what is the point? So damn, they could be, somebody could be asking you to go to Vegas with them because they want to get married. If marriage is not the end result, what is the point? What is the point here? It says, make the most of what is going on right now currently. That's a fact. <laughs> Make the most of what is going on right now currently. Okay, so okay. maybe when someone is asking you to go with them to Florida, I mean, not Florida, hell, they could want to take you to Florida too. They could want to take you to Florida to meet their family or whatever. Um, when they are asking you to, to go to Vegas with them, it might even be a surprise. They might even tell you that they want to go to Florida and then y'all end up in Vegas and then they want to freaking propose to you and ask you to get married to them. However you're feeling in that moment, go with that energy. You feel me? Make the most of what is going on right now currently. Okay, it says love is not meant to hurt you. She makes me happy. Okay, I'm feeling this love energy. Maybe I deserve. Maybe I deserve to go to Vegas and get married to the one. You feel me? Maybe I deserve. For you to, and you got somebody else, maybe I deserve. Who was that on um, Tank? Who who sing that song? Maybe I deserve. Or is that a uh, is that Jaheen? I'm gonna have to look that up. But it says to get four, shh, get four cards from the Angels Abundance Oracle. I'll do that at the end as well. It says, choose love, choose God. Dang, we got Jerry Sweat name coming out here. This is one of my uncles. And it's crazy that I had a dream. He popped up in one of my dreams the other night. And his name keep coming out in my readings now. Also, I had a dream about uh, somebody that's supposed to be my friend as well, who is from West Virginia. Name, her name is Dana Cook. Her name came out yesterday a couple times in the readings that I were doing was doing. And it's crazy how these people are showing up in my dreams and then their names are coming out in my readings. So we got the name Jerry here. It says, you are no kin to me. You hear me? I just said this was my uncle. They say, you are no kin to me. You are no friend to me. You are the enemy. God sees all. Understand. Whatever it is that y'all think y'all doing in the dark or behind closed doors, please know that God sees all. And he showed me things in my dreams for sure. And then we got this person is going to propose to you. So definitely got some. Zamani, baby, baby, baby. 
So we definitely got some marriage energy here. We got somebody want, wanting to propose to you. Somebody's going to come in wanting to propose to you. This person is going to propose to you. That's crazy. And then I said this already too. Once a cheater, always a cheater. Once a cheater, always a cheater. We got the name Cedric here. Now, what's crazy about this is we got something happening at an apartment complex here. And I said... It could possibly be in Ohio or it could be in West Virginia. I said Ohio because I had a vision one time that my mom was going to get killed by this person here at the same apartment complex where she used to live at, where this person was always at. You feel me? So that's that could be a sign of synchronicity. We got movie star energy here. It says, get three cards from the Shaman Oracle deck. Okay, we're going to do that at the end as well. Dang. <laughs> it says, these karmic motherfuckers about to start dropping like flies. So, damn, that could be confirmation right there for what I just said about what's going to happen at the apartment complex. Hmm. Well, you got these karmic motherfuckers about to start dropping like flies. Okay. We got Tiffany here. It says communication is everything. Communication is everything. That's a fact. We got spiritual power here. We got somebody here has spiritual power and anointing. Hmm. It says they hired a hitman to take me out. Hmm. They hired a hitman to take me out. Somebody named that just came out. Somebody, somebody in this pal here. Hire a hitman to take me out. And, you know, you fucking fuck with the wrong one. Okay? So, you know, karma. Karma for whoever hired a hitman to take me out. We got legacy here. Somebody is creating a legacy here. We got Gemini energy. Somebody play too much. <laughs> All y'all play too much because y'all... Hey, y'all play too much. No, I'm not done yet, sweetheart. Okay. It says, I reminisce about us all the time. So maybe this person who reminisce about you all the time is going to be the one to come in and propose to you. In Vegas. Hey. We got Xavier here. Come on, man. Can you move, yo? My friend. Yeah, I don't know if that's your friend, but yeah, your friend, you got a friend named Xavier. I don't I'm not gonna say that's your child energy, but you know, he's not the only person in the world with that name. It says I can still see visions of you. Hmm. It says I stayed with the karmic because I had nowhere to go. <gasps> somebody stayed with somebody because they had nowhere to go. It's okay to admit when you've made a mistake. That's a fact. Keep it real. You know, admit to your shit. It's okay to admit when you made a mistake, you know. Nobody's perfect. You got to you got to forgive. You you don't got to forget what somebody did to you, but in order to um receive these blessings that God got for you, you definitely got to got to got to forgive. You can't have that hate or, you know what I'm saying, that grudge in your spirit. You know what I'm saying? Release that shit. We got Lynn here. We got Shanae here. This is my middle name, so damn, this, this is definitely resonating with me. It says, you helped me in many ways just by being in my life. This is also, I'm feeling like that marriage energy here. They... They want you to know that you helped them in many ways just by being in their life. And they are now reminiscing about you. And it's soon to come in and ask for your hand in marriage. But be sure to communicate clearly what it is that you want, what it is that you're going to accept, what it is that you're not going to accept. Communication is everything. Express yourself. We got identity theft here. Hmm. It says, I'm done with that. 
Somebody is somebody is done with all the bullshit. You feel me? They coming in on some real. <laughs> you, <laughs> you crazy, you man. You all right, you need to chill out. My feet don't stink. Do. I'm done with that. Okay, man, come on, for real. I'm done with that. We got Nina. We got the state Texas coming out. So what was that, Florida? We got Florida. We have West Virginia, Vegas, now Texas. But guess what? Luck is on your side. It says, why am I in love with you already? Why am I already in love with you? So why am I already in love with you? Somebody is going to say this to you. And don't be surprised if they freaking ask you to propose. I mean, ask you to propose. Ask you to marry them. They said, um, I was dead wrong. Will you forgive me? Somebody's going to come in saying this, man. I was dead wrong. Yeah. Will you forgive me? That's up to you. I think it said, who do you choose or... What do you choose or something like that? You know what I'm saying? That's your choice whether you want to give somebody a second chance or not. We got winter energy here. Wow, we got her name actually came out. Sharita Chappelle. Name is here. Hell, she could be the one that they're about to get married. I don't know. But Sharita Chappelle energy is here. 26, 26 on the clock. We got another person, first and last name coming out. Nina Miller energy here. She could be the woman that's in love with another woman because she is a fruity tootie. And I'm sure she wouldn't be mad if I said that. You know what I'm saying? But whatever. We got Nina Miller here. It says, now the shoe is on the other foot. Hmm. It says, you are a goddess. I know I'm a goddess. Someone you don't even know is competing with you. Hmm. Someone you don't even know is competing with you. So somebody name out here could be competing with somebody they don't even know. Understand? I don't know. Somebody you don't even know is competing with you. It says, have some babies. Damn it. Have some babies. We got 2022 energy here. So something is significant about this year, definitely. It's a lot of manifestations going on that's coming to fruition. As well as it's judgment time for a lot of people that did a lot of fuck shit to the wrong ones. So, you know, karma is going on right now, too. And also, um, this year not over with, so who knows what's going to happen. But 2022 just came out. It says never give up. Never give up. Never give up. We even got summer energy here. So we got August that came out. Okay. So possibly um, the summer of 2022 could be significant. That is just in a couple days. It says, who is that man or woman that called or texted you? Hmm. It says, a baby will not keep a man or a woman, duh. Okay, so don't be out here trying to get somebody pregnant. Okay, it's not going to keep them 28, 28 on the clock. And for the for the for the for the women, don't be out here trying to keep a baby by somebody because you're trying to, you know what I'm saying, trap them or keep them because that ain't not gonna work. Understand? But somebody need to be having some babies. We got Wednesday here. Something could be significant about Wednesday. Wow, I did say Ohio. Something's gonna happen in Ohio at an apartment complex. We got Ohio actually coming out here. Get the fuck out of here, man. Whew, okay. We got secrets here, bro. We got secrets coming out. It says forgiveness is key. I done said that already too. You gotta forgive people, man. Don't hold on to nothing they did or didn't do. You feel me? Let that shit go. You understand what I'm saying? And just because you forgive them 29, 29 on the clock don't mean that you got to fuck with them. You feel me? You can forgive them and go on about your business and never talk to them again. You know? And what does this say? Forget her. Forget her. Hmm. 
It says third eye chakra, planning, execution, intelligence, goal setting, ethics, integrity, awareness, and intuition. Wow, somebody intuition, somebody third eye chakra is, is going ham. You feel me? You having visions and seeing all type of things and, you know, hey, we're going to see what happens. We got the name Keith here. Now, that's crazy that the last name Sweat came out already because I also got a cousin named Keith Sweat, okay? So, I got a cousin named Keith Sweat came out, Jerry Sweat. I'm going to say Jerry Sweat, okay? We got Sharita Chappelle. We got Nina Miller. We got full names coming out here, man. And this person is in Ohio, okay? We got Jerry Sweat living in Ohio. We got Sharita Chappelle. She live in West Virginia. I got a couple other names that came out that live in North Carolina. They say, go with the flow. Go with the flow. Let go and let God. You feel me? Go with the flow. That's exactly what I'm going to do. But guess what? Someone is going to message you. Someone is going to message you. And they could be about to message you regarding this love that they have for you. We got Sagittarius energy here. Or hell, somebody, one of these names that came out could be about to message you or me. <laughs> we got Sagittarius energy here twice. We got an old friend of mine. How about that? We got old friend of mine energy here. Hmm, somebody is an old friend of mine. Okay, or yours. We got the name Mario. What? We got an old, I got an old friend named Mario. Okay. Actually, he from West Virginia, but live in Vegas right now. But he married already. But anyways, I don't know what that's about. But we got Mario here. We got the name Randy here. Oh, wow. No, the fuck North Carolina did not come the fuck out. Wow, we got North Carolina coming out too. We got, who was that, Nina Miller name. We got uh, a girl named Tiffany probably from uh, North Carolina. And Maya Johnson definitely from North Carolina. Lord, and I think Natural Disaster came out too. Let me just go back right quick. Hold the fuck up. Yeah, yeah, we got a Natural Disaster here. Oh, man. So, hey, pay attention now to what the hell I'm talking about here. But something finna go on and um it, it possibly in every last one of these states that's coming out. This was no mistake. Oh my god. This was no mistake, yo. I'm not making this shit up, man. It says get five self-care wisdom cards. We're gonna do that last. Hmm, 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 hmm. Make sure you communicate clearly. It says, this was fate. Oh, my gosh. This was no mistake. This was fate. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Spirit got all the tea, and he's spilling it out here right now. What? We got 444 four, four energy here. Somebody here need to set some goals, man. Wow. We got hiding kids at hotels. I know that's happening in North Carolina. I've seen it my damn self. Without you, I am mentally losing my mind. So somebody is definitely going to admit to you that they losing their mind without you. They don't want to live without you. They want to spend the rest of their life with you. You good in there, babe? Learn the lessons to bring upon your blessings. Okay, babe. Learn. Okay, learn the lessons to bring upon your blessings. That's a fact. We got the initial Q here. Says show more gratitude. We definitely definitely need to show more gratitude. That means show more, be more grateful. You feel me? Maybe you should write a list, what they call the gratitude list, um, to what it is that you're grateful for. Let the universe know how grateful you are for what you do have so that you can be more abundant. We got two boys. What the fuck? Have some babies here. Two boys, okay, we got twins energy here. It says show 
some things are just not meant to be. Some things are just not meant to be, and we be trying to force some things sometimes. But God said, no, we got to let go of things in order to bring upon our blessings. Some things are meant to teach you. Okay? We got a dangerous man here. Hmm. Damn. It says, the memories about us haunts me. The memories about us haunts me. I reminisce about us all the time. We got a loyal friend energy here. It said an old friend of yours. Now we got a loyal friend here. It says your ancestors are all are here as well. You feel me? So your ancestors just finna kick somebody ass 35, 35 on the clock for fucking with you, okay? Okay, come on now. I'm ready to go. Are you coming? Somebody want to know. I'm ready to go. You coming with me? I'm ready to go to Vegas, baby. Is you coming with me, baby? But these are my confessions. Just when I thought I had one on the web. These are my confessions. I don't know what to do. And you gotta give part two of my confessions. If I don't tell you, then I gotta tell you it all. I damn near cried when I got that phone call. I'm so lost. I'm so gone. Something, something, something. But these are my confessions. Ah, these are somebody motherfucking confessions. Lord have mercy. We got secrets coming out. Now we got confessions coming out. It says to weigh your options here. You know what I'm saying? You maybe have more than one person finna come in and try to offer you this love, baby. Weigh your options out. You feel me? If you're not sure which one to go to, which one to choose, ask God. I trust yourself, too, as well. Damn, we got New Orleans coming out, too. Whew. They say I forgive myself. Forgive yourself for whatever it is that you did. Then it says, I'm not pregnant. You are for somebody. And I ain't pregnant. Bitch, you pregnant. <laughs> Man, that was a very interesting freaking. Wow. That was, that is a shocking. Oh, man. I don't even know what to say. But let me go ahead and um, finish this out here. We got, let's get five cards of the shapeshifters. Let me see what they are. Uh, okay. Then it says four cards of the angel, angels of abundance. Okay, we grab that one. The shaman and the self care. Mm, 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 mm. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. I done told somebody already. I done, I done, I done, I done told my mama once about um, that guy, Cedric. And what I felt about him and what I seen and shit like that. She already was hip to it when I was asking about him. She could feel the energy. She could feel something not right. So she stayed away from him. So I don't know. Maybe maybe she um didn't stay away from him long enough. I don't know. I don't know. But his name surely came out here. And that's the energy that I'm feeling right now. So, you know. Hey. People need to realize that, you know, you got some powerful spirits, spiritual people out here. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, you got to be careful who it is that you're fucking with. So, we got some names. We got some states. We got some, whew, What's the energy here, Holy Spirit? I need five shapeshifter cards. These is my shape shifter cards here. All right, let me get five shape shifter cards. We at 39 minutes into this video. Lord have mercy. Whoo, that, that thing got me. Uh, I'm feeling some type of way. Not really feeling some type of way. It's just that these messages that just came out in these cards, man, I'm telling you. Get five 
cards from the shapeshifters. Holy Spirit. Give me five. Give me five of these cards. Give me five of these cards. Make them pop for me. What's the message here, Holy Spirit? What's the message here? <laughs> Woo! Okay, we got one. Oh, no, we got two. It says, you are unlike anyone else. Your contradictions and complexities are interesting. Okay. You are unlike anyone else. And that's a fact. We got the number 35 there. It says your imaginary friend, childhood treasures resurface. Okay. Some childhood treasures are resurfacing here. Okay. We got the hedgehog love, positive, uplifting new friends coming your way. All right, give me two more, Holy Spirit. It says, the little wolf girl, it is all right to be alone. You feel me? Might not fit in with nobody out there. It's all right to be alone, though. Your ancestors are with you. And then it says, um, orca magic. The Akashic Libraries are open. So that's one, two, three, four, five. That's all I'm going to get with that one. And it says at the bottom here, once upon a midnight dreary, it says creativity, genius, writing, expression, artistic flow, baby. Why? Why? Already had when, Express when, Yourself when, come out. All right, we're going to move on here. We're going to move on, move on, move on, move on. So it says get four cards of the angel oracle. Angel, angel abundance. Hey, angel abundance. Angel abundance oracle. Okay, Holy Spirit. What's the message here? the energy what's the message here holy spirit give me four of these of angel abundance cards uh oh uh oh we got two came out okay well we got three out okay so one it says exercise to increase your energy and manifestation abilities so it says the key to manifesting quickly is to have very high energy levels and the easiest way to increase them is through physical exercise. Choose a fun and meaningful activity so that you'll look forward to exercising and it becomes and it becomes its own reward. So you need to exercise to increase your energy and manifestation abilities. Okay? Then it says, bountiful nature. It says, spending time in nature helps shift you to a higher vibration. As it said in one of the index cards, raise your vibrations. Okay, so, um, and remind you of God's infinite abundance. So go outside and enjoy a walk or hike with your pet. Meditate beneath a tree, garden, sit under the stars, or do some other activity to connect with the limitless vastness. So we got bountiful nature, okay? Then we got the power of prayer, Jesus. Give this situation to God for uplifting and healing and be open to miracles. Heaven's unlimited resources, love and, and answers are awaiting your prayers. Be sure to act upon the divine guidance God gives to you in response to your prayers. So we got power, the power of prayer here. Because you know prayer definitely changes things. Give me one more, Holy Spirit. Give me one more, Holy Spirit. What else do they need to know? Give me one more, one more. Woo, the power of prayer, Jesus. Okay, so we got two that came out, okay? 
So it says, organize for success. Do not let the word organize intimidate you as it is simply a way for you to ensure clarity of purpose. Organizing your thoughts, your reports, your living and workspace, and your finances will help you know and plan your next action steps. So we need to organize for success here. It says donations, tithing, and charitable work. It says give joyfully to the organizations and people who spiritually support and inspire you and know that your generosity will be returned to you many fold in miraculous ways. The time, supplies, money, and other resources you donate will ensure that your positive energy multiplies. So you should definitely give back, you know what I'm saying? So even though we, it only said get four, we got five. So, okay, cool. We'll keep on going here. Try to end this within an hour. So it says get three shaman cards. So let's get three cards from the shaman oracle. Make sure these are all the same way. I'm just making sure they all facing the right way. Alright, cool. What's the message here, Holy Spirit? What's the message here, Holy Spirit? <clears throat> Clear the energy for me, please. What's the message here, Holy Spirit? I need three of these cards. 46, 46 on the clock, baby. God gave me a song that the angels could not see. I was lost in the blood of the crucified one. I've been redeemed. The Lord has been so good to me. He's opened doors I could not see. My father's rich. He helps his land. He holds the power of the world, power of the world in his hands, power of the world in his hands, power. Is that one card said the power of prayer? All right, this is too many. Give me two more, Holy Spirit. So we got Dancer of Beginnings. So I'm feeling like new beginnings. We got Dancer of New Beginnings. Okay. Give me two more, Holy Spirit. That one, it was about five. It was about five cards came out with that last one. Oh, too many. Too many spirit. Spirit got all the tea. He's spilling all the tea here with this one. Lord have mercy. Give me two more. Okay, I think we got two, and we do. It says Hunter of Strength. And then we got Shaman of Sorrows. Okay, we got the Spirit of Family at the end. Spirit Family. Okay. So let's see what these mean really quickly. We got the hunters here. Let's see. Hunter of strength, okay? So it says, I am the hunter of strength. I seek the shapes and patterns of energy to find the name and nature of the strength you need. Wherever you stand in the journey of life, you require strength to empower you. Soul, soul strength and heart strength, bone strength and emotional strength are all a part of the pattern you walk. At your side, 
I guide you toward all that you need and ensure that you do not overreach your native power. It says the hunter of strength here, a hunter is reaching down to tap into the strength of a great animal. We too can draw strength from many places, from the inner worlds, from our family and loved ones, from the earth and the creatures with whom we share it. The hunter of strength seeks out the best sources of the strength we need, while at the same time helping us to understand the nature of that strength, which is often spiritual rather than physical. Strength is a natural part of our daily lives. To make progress, we need to acknowledge where best to find it and how to recover it if it should ever be lost. Interpretations, it says force of will, strength to accomplish your dreams, recognition of your own power and that of others, recognizing weaknesses, drawing on the energies that surround you. All right. Let's see what else we got here. We got Dancer of Beginnings. Let's see what that one is. <clears throat> we got Dancer of Beginnings here. It says, I am the Dancer of Beginnings. I dance in the spirit of fresh directions and call upon myself the embrace of the divine beings. Stop. Who send their blessings upon all new enterprises. Dance with me to become uplifted, shaken from stale routines and raised up beyond what it is to be human. Divine fire fills the air around me. Move forward with me and look at the world with a renewed understanding. I catch fire from the flame of longing and the initiate, the accomplishment of dreams. This dancer raises his or her hands as if in greetings. As you can see in the picture there, embracing the moment of beginning. The point of transformation from the seed of intention to the fullness of action. The dancer of beginnings represents a transpersonal energy that bursts out of the shadows, infusing everything that surrounds it with the potential of becoming more than it is. The dancer can refresh our vision of ourselves, of our lives, helping us to see beginnings where perhaps we once saw endings and to breathe new life and possibility even into the familiar and the routine. It says interpretations, inspiration, starting out, new ideas, the birth of dreams, fire in the head, the pull toward the future and hopes and aspirations, baby. Then we got the Shaman of Sorrows. Shaman of Sorrows. Shaman of Sorrows here. It says, I am the Shaman of Sorrows. I speak to you from a place of peace, hope, and transformation. I journey into the heart of pain and find ways to restore you to a state of balance in which sorrows no longer hold sway in your life. I walk before you upon any path you choose to take, protecting you from the burdens of unhappiness. I show you how life turns again and again from one state to another, so that even sorrow knows its contrary face, which is joy. Says the shaman of sorrows, we cannot live without encountering sorrow. It can weigh heavily upon us, preventing us from moving forward, holding us in the grip of doubt or even despair. The Shaman of Sorrows helps us to deal with all occasions when our hearts are heavy, whether from the, whether from past or present troubles. Um, where did I, if we are to survive, we have to face up to our discomforts and reconcile ourselves to their causes. To so these things no longer have power over us. The Shaman's task is to walk by our side in troubled times helping us to find practical ways to accept and deal with whatever it is that has brought us sorrow. So interpretation says restoration of hope, finding balance, acceptance, acknowledging the place of sorrow in life, hopeful memory, transcending sorrowful thoughts, resignation, and mourning. Hmm, that was interesting. All right, so we're going to go ahead and close this out here with uh get five self-care wisdom cards 
All right, let's see what these cards got to say here. We're gonna go ahead and close it. 54.54 on the clock. Trying to end this within an hour. What's the message here, Holy Spirit? Oh, we got happiness there. What's the message, Holy Spirit? What we got? What we got? What we got? What we got? Where the energy for me, please. Give me five self-care. There's one. Give me four more, please. We got... Bang. Okay, one, two, three, four of them fell out. Okay, that was easy. And then we have self-worth here. So let's see what it is. We got choice. Looks like you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight choices here. So one of the cards that came out in the index card was, what do you choose? Okay, so clarification here with choices. It says, worry less about making... It says, worry less about making the right choice and more about being strong enough to handle any outcome. What choice here? Then we got speak up. It says, if you avoid conflict to keep the peace, you start a war inside yourself. We got kindness here. It says, what if being kind to yourself really could change everything? Then we got self here again. It says, if beating yourself up worked, you'd be thin, rich, and happy. Try loving yourself instead. Okay, then we got body here. It says, your body deserves your love. And I'm also read this one because this one was the very first one here, self-worth, that was on the top before I grabbed any of the cards that fell out. So with self-worth, it says, why settle for crumbs when you deserve a whole meal, okay? So yeah, when it comes to making choices and decisions, you know, put yourself first, you know, love yourself, you know? Let's not worry about making the right choice here. And whatever happens, be strong enough to handle any outcome, you feel me? So with that being said, you know, I'm going to go ahead and end it here. I'm actually going to pull out my tarot cards right quick. I want to see what messages come out with those. All right, let's see right quick. I got three minutes. I'm almost done, baby. Give me one second, please. All right, let's see what we can see here. One that was um, just fell out here, Two of Cups, okay? That's that, um, that marriage energy I kept sensing here. That Vegas, baby. All right, Holy Spirit, give me a few messages here. Got two minutes. Give me a few messages here. With the tarot cards. What we got here? All right, what we got here, Holy Spirit? Clear the energy. What message do we got here? What message do we got here? We got the Page of Cups coming out. Okay. We also got the Three of Pentacles here, some type of teamwork, some successful type of teamwork here. We got the Queen of Swords here. Let's see here with the Page of Cups. Okay, so the Page of Cups represents curiosity and creativity and encourages an open mind to new and possible ideas here. Possibly with the group here because we got the three of pinnacles here and that is some type of teamwork coming together that is going to be successful with the Queen of Swords. Okay, we got one fell out. We got strength coming up. All right, we got... What's that? Nine of Wands. We got Nine of Wands with the Strength card, okay? All right, what else we got, Holy Spirit? What else we got here? What's the energy? What else we got here? What else we got here, Holy Spirit? 
Oh, oh, okay. We got the star at the bottom here. Wishful fulfillment. Let's see. Then I'm going to close this out. We got, let's see, the nine of wands. So it says, this card is a representation of strength and resiliency even through difficult times it is the symbol of hope and encouragement okay 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 then we got a tower we got a tower here we had a strong tower come out in the index cards then we have a tower come out in the tarot so i'm going to take that as the strong strong tower here okay we got the ace of wands we got the Four of Pentacles, somebody going to be holding on to your ass tight. We got the King of Pentacles coming in. Okay. We got the Hierophant showing itself. We got the Ten of Pentacles here. And we got the Four of Wands. Okay. So that's what? Four, eight, twelve. And a star at the bottom. Give me one more, Holy Spirit. And I'm going to close it out. Give me one more here with the hermit. So we got somebody going into freaking hermit mode here. Then we got that. We got that marriage. We got that marriage. We got that ten of cups. We got that happy family. We also got the four of wands. That just looks like some happy ending right there. Then we also got the independent woman here that's found her king of pentacles here understand here and here they gonna share this ten of cups with the four of wands and i'm gonna go ahead and end this here i hope thank y'all for coming back and joining me at tiara's healing words tarot um i hope this message resonates with someone if you are checking out this video, go ahead and hit that like button for me. Also, subscribe to the channel. You know what I'm saying? Hit that notification all, select all, so that you are notified each and every time. Um, well, I can't go live now because I don't have enough subscribers. But, you know, please subscribe to the channel. And y'all stay blessed out there. I love y'all. Thanks again for tuning in to Tiara's. Healing words tell all.